the town of Rwanda and beyond. Um, well, welcome to the family, family to join us and the members of all of Florida to come up. up. We have yeah, members of the town council here, Tim Fitzgibbon, Devin Bowler, members of the Massachusetts Little League, Don Whitman, Ray Burton. Thank you to Jim Foster. I don't know if he's here, here but he did make an install sign for us. Uh, uh, thank, thank you to the rec department for all that they do for our field and, and the assistance of Jay Collins on our board that really helps out with that and getting up to the front here for the design. At this point, I'm going to call Tim to give him an interesting new word. because I don't really want to talk through this thing. I, just, I don't like the echo and everything like that. First of all, I want to thank Bridgewater Little League for inviting the town council here to, uh, to honor and dedicate this complex uh, in Bob Stern's memory. Uh, and welcome you on all on behalf of the town of Bridgewater. Uh, it's, it's our honor, Mr. Gallagher, our president is here, and um, it, it's our honor to be here, and it's our privilege to be here to honor one of the finest citizens I've ever known in the town of Bridgewater, uh, Bob Stearns. Uh, I first met Bob in 1976. His son Bobby's in the crowd here, so my Bobby raised your hand. <laughs> there you go, he's way back there. He was a couple years older than me in Little League. Uh, I was nine years old. By the way, there was no organized baseball under nine years old for kids in the town. You, you had to be nine years old to play. And in fact, we had to play on the corner of the football field. That was our one field. We played, we had the right and left field lines were like the goal lines and the, and the, and the sideline. And we played on the upper field up there. That's what they called it, the upper field. The lower field was a little league field, a major little league field. And this was the this was a really important little league field, the Hayes field. There was no Lazaro field back then. No Lazaro field. So think about this. Think about this. We've got one, two, three, four. All the all the young kids playing in all the fields. All the fields that are around here are because of Bob. Because Bob was the driving force behind it. You know, he had he had folks who wanted to do it. He had folks who wanted to expand Little League down to younger and younger ages. And he, he got all these fields built with the help, obviously, of folks like Charlie and everybody like that to get things done. But that's what that's what really Bob meant to the town. He was he was the driving force behind this. And you know. And, and when I say that, I, I say it very meaningfully because we do have the Stearns family here, but Bridgewater Little League was Bob's extended family. It was his extended family. He was here every weekend. Everyone remember when he used to hook up on the grill and, and just be there all weekend cooking burgers and dogs and what do you got, what do you got? It was his extended family. And, his, and actually, Little League, Baseball was his extended family. He, he, he did it for the Massachusetts. He did it nationally. He loved Little League Baseball. And that's what I loved about Bob. So when I met Bob in 1976 and I was nine years old and he was, he was president of the Little League then, I feel like I was an extended member of his family. So I feel like I'm brothers with Bob. We're, you know, he's my, he's my extended family. He's my son. You know, our, we're sons together of Bob. And I know there's people in the crowd or, or parents in the crowd who have had players play baseball for me. I'm, I'm wearing my Legion stuff for a very important purpose because if it weren't for Bob, I wouldn't have gone on to coach 30-something years in the town of Bridgewater baseball. And, and, and I coached a bunch of kids. And, and I know, uh, I see Mr. Florence here, and his son Richie played for me for a number of years is now on the school committee and doing a great job there um, and his kids are playing and, and I see one of them um, and so you know you guys who are coaching who, who coach who played for me you're Bob's grandkids and Jake you're Bob's great grandkids okay everybody everybody
everybody in this complex has some relation to Bob Stearns. All you guys, Mr. Stearns, one of the best people you're ever going to meet and somebody you should always emulate. Okay? So, I just want to say on behalf of the town, we're very proud to dedicate this complex to Bob and uh, we look forward to uh, having a lot of things in his memory here. Thank you very much. look for attention, but at the same time, appreciated any, anyone and everyone that helped him. Is, as Tim had mentioned, his legacy in Bridgewater um, is probably unsurpassed by anyone else in the town. And again, what we're doing today to um, recognize him is certainly something that he would shy away from, but we appreciate everything that he's done. And on behalf of Again, Little League Headquarters, Little League Massachusetts, Little League East Region, thank you for coming and enjoy the day. Thank you. Ray Burton, are you out there somewhere? As Bob would say, top of the morning, guy, even if you're a female. <laughs> I had the wonderful pleasure of meeting my mentor 31 years ago. Bob's love, many times we traveled together. We've been, we probably went to at least 10 state tournaments together. We've been to Little League in Bristol together. We've been, traveled to Williamsport last year. Um, and the amazing thing about Bob Stearns was what Donnie mentioned just now. Bob was not looking for a thank you or pat on the back. Bob was looking for that inner feeling that he just did something good for someone else. And Bob did something good for someone else all the way back to his childhood. He told me about the love of his mother, his dad, growing up uh, on a farm, raising his, his uh, wonderful family. And he always complimented the fact that he married the right person who would put up with his shenanigans and allow him to share his love of other things with others. And that's Jackie. And I think it was amazing that, that uh, right up the Boston Basket, no matter what you've got for an email, it had Jackie and, and Bob on it. And when you called the phone, Jackie's voice was on there uh, answering the phone for the longest time. That's a true love. They, they were married for an awful long time, raised a wonderful family, and the stories of pride about his family and the fact that Bob did not want to be recognized for what he did. He just wanted a handshake, a hug, uh, maybe, a, maybe an occasional thank you. Today is the culmination of a, a, a life of dedication and service and love of others. No, no one in my lifetime that I that I have met with the exception of my wife Judy has shown me how to live life and give the love that you have in that heart of yours. And Bob had tons and tons of love in his heart to share with others. I heard it once said that the love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. Love isn't love when you give it away. But when you love people, you love baseball, you love projects in the town, you love doing for others. When your life ends, you've left a legacy. And thank you to everyone involved in today in making sure that this complex is named in love for a man who gave love for his entire life. What a privilege and an honor to have been able to call Bob my friend, to 
work with them, and I work with the states in Middlebury this year, and on the application, uh, I, I put, the Bob would, would have wanted me to work this this year. <laughs> so, um, when, Donnie, when Donnie sent me the, the, uh, the list of the umpires that was on there, I have to say, the games that I do, the love that I have for what I've been doing since I was 13 years old, and I will be 75 this month, so you do the math. This year's, this year's tournament is, is, is a lot of love every single minute, every single waking week that, that we're at the state. So thank you all for the love that you're giving back to Bob and his family, and what a privilege and honor it is to even be able to stand before you and say these nice things about such a Bridgewater Little League, I would just like to say that it was a particularly challenging off-season as the father of baseball in Bridger, Bridgewater, as we know it, passed away. Um, Bob uh, was an integral part of BLL in the Little League community for over 40 years. He was a coach, a mentor, and a friend to Bridgewater Little League and the greater Little League community. His dedication and passion to Little League was like no one else. He was there to guide any member of the board and knew just how to steer the ship to be sure things just got done right. He didn't have it written down to pass on to anyone. He just had it in his head. He could run this league in his sleep. His knowledge, guidance, and friendship has been and will continue to be missed. Um, I first met Bob as a new mom in Little League, coming in to work in the snack shack for the very first time. I felt a little nervous and int intimidated because there was an older gentleman behind the grill that was just shouting out orders. Um, and I was worried that I would mess something up, wouldn't do something right, but he quickly made me feel relaxed and greatly appreciated that I was in there to help him. Uh, four years ago, I joined the board, and again, I was nervous because, you know, it, you know, the, the look on it has been, you know, maybe it's a boys club or something, and here I am, a girl coming in to join their club. And again, I felt, you know, that I would mess something up. But again, Bob welcomed me with open arms, and he was there to guide. Last year, he even allowed me to use a spatula a couple of times so he could go see his great-grandson great play, and that was, again, another honor and a privilege. Um, <clears throat> Although he is physically no longer with us, all the stories he shared, all the guidance, all the memories will stay with each and every one of us. Whether you knew Bob personally or not, everyone in BLL knows Bob Stearns and was touched by all he did. Our league wouldn't exist as it does today without him. With this, with this, this is why we, we went forward to the town to really have his legacy live on and to make sure that every person coming by these fields or playing on these fields know what an impact Mr. Stearns had for all of us. So it is with great, great honor and pleasure that I'm going to welcome the Stearns family up so that we can reveal that sign.